Okay, page 11 has several different flaps, so we're going to cut, we need to cut one that is, oops, you go the wrong direction here, there we go, uh, seven and a half by eight. Put the seven and a half inch in your score board and score at a half inch. So you end up with a seven inch by eight inch finished flap for the left side. Then you're going to cut one eight inch by six and a half. Score the six and a half inch side at a half inch. You end up with a six inch width flap for the right side. So they're going to go like this together. Then you need a small flap that is four and a half by four. Score the four and a half inch side at a half. Deco punch the two corners, outer corners, and this is going to go here to hold that in. And then we're also going to have one more vertical or horizontal, but this will be vertical. Um, maybe I'll see when we open it up. Pocket, sorry, I've forgotten which direction I was going to do. It is eight inches long by two inches, scored at half inch and seven and a half. So, yeah, that's going to fit on one of these pockets on the inside. So I'm going to lay that aside for right now. So let's go ahead and put the narrowest pocket, the right-hand side one on first with some score tape. Attach that to the outer edge. Make sure you line it up at the top and then at the bottom. And then the larger flap which goes on the left. Score tape. The reason I don't play music while I'm uh, <clears throat> doing a video, instructional video, play my iTunes or Pandora, is because uh, YouTube will pick it up, a song in the background which is copyrighted, and then will block my video, so that's why there's no sound. I normally work with music in the background. So let's put this just a tiny bit off of that fold page fold. Just a very tiny, like a fingernail width, so that that page will still fold. And then that flap goes down there. And then this is a secure, a holder flap, decorative holder flap, and score tape on it. And we're going to center that on the inside flap. I almost goofed. We're going to put it here. Just center it along the edge, top to bottom, so that when this opens up, this flap goes in like that. Now we are going to have a magnetic closure <coughs> again. I'm going to put it on the outer flap first because there's plenty of room. A bit of score tape over the magnet. I think that was a plus, so we'll go with the minus. Fold and stick it down. Lift it up to separate the magnets, and then let's cover that with score tape too. Now they have a slight raise, they're, they're pretty flat, so once your decorative papers are on there, you really don't notice it that much. So that one closes like that. So we're going to lift it up, bring it back, bring it back. Now let me see if I can figure out where this pocket went. So I'm thinking, not there. Hmm, 
Well, it could in that center. Maybe it just accidentally got in here with the others. What do you think? You think you want a pocket there? I think we need to wait on that because you can add that, but you can't do your papering with this on here yet. So I'm going to lay that aside. I think maybe, see it's too short. It could be a belly band. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's the side it was probably supposed to go on. The pocket here. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> It's supposed to be a pocket on this left flap, so we're going to put the tape on the hinges. I already gave you the dimensions of this. So we'll put our score tape on, and then we're going to take the backing off. And add our glue along one edge only for the bottom. And my glue may have dried up some. There we go. Fold this back down. Let's get it attached to the outer edge. Put this over here. And get it. There we go. So I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now we have our pocket inside. Close, close, whoops, down, down, and down. There we go. <laughs> and now we're ready for page 12 and the last page in the book. Okay.